I now work in the yeah, drum roll, please. Hey y'all, it is Diamond, AKA the Nurseaholic, and I am back at it again with another video. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. New hair. <laughs> Who this? Yes, um, went to the bestie and he got me right, you know. I get into the lighting, you'll be able to see the full effect, but I just wanted my hair to be up the natural hair. I wanted, I wanted some fall hair. When I see myself like this, I'm like, I'll be cute bald headed. But anyways, my bestie does what needs to be done every single time. Love the deep side part and the color and the install. The wig was colored by someone else. So let's get right into this vlog. I'm getting dressed for work. Gonna go ahead and pack my lunch and I make sure I have plenty of snacks in my energy drink. I have to keep the lunch box jam packed because when you eat it, you don't know when you have time to eat. So you bring plenty of snacks so you don't have to worry about it. Vanilla is my favorite everyday scent. So I'm using the body wash and moisturizing with Taraji P. Henson's body oil and buttercream. Then I am taking out my rollers. These are called flexi rods for those of you who do not know. I just wear a silk hair wrap at night and voila, curls for the girls. I'm over here trying to stay moisturized y'all. This is my favorite lotion, Harry. And as y'all just saw, I just put on Vaseline because we still wear masks at work. I don't like putting on lip gloss. I made it to work early, it's 10.39, and it's December 2nd, so that means it's the second day of vlog, man. Vloggy vlog, vlog, vloggy vlog, vlog, vloggy vlog. I made it to work early. Yes, your girl is over here getting moisturized. I hate having dry hands, especially in the winter time, and if you are a nurse, you understand. You wash your hands constantly. So I'm excited to get this shift started. I have my Celsius, which is my energy drink. Um, we are here early, it's 1040. I now work in the, yeah, drum roll please. I now work in the ER, the emergency room, and I love it. I definitely feel like the emergency room is made for me. I'm really grateful that I took the chance and I didn't second guess myself because I almost signed a contract for travel nursing and I was gonna take an outpatient oncology job, which it was paying 4,000 a week, but it literally was not what I wanted when it came to the hours. I was working at eight to five before I decided to get another staff position in the hospital. The eight to five, I could not wake up early enough. So yeah, I know that 7 a.m. shifts in the hospital will not work for me. So with that being said, I work 11 to 11. So I try to arrive by 10.30 so that I can get in, get comfortable before report start and do things like this, talk to you guys. Like I was saying, I love the emergency room. I feel like it's made for me. I love the the fast paced environment with my experience as a waitress. I know that I thrive in a fast paced environment. Number two, so if I can combine that with nursing where literally I get to rotate those patients and we all know those patients where on the floor, the whole team is taking care of that one patient. Those patients are the ones where you're like, oh my goodness, can we please discharge? So when it comes to the ED, there is a constant rotation of discharges and then you have another one coming right in. So as soon as you kind of like get exhausted once you finish your task, which includes things like getting them on the monitor, getting an EKG, starting a line, getting an IV in them, going ahead and of course getting their vitals, but most of the time triage has already gotten their vitals. My biggest thing right now is balancing my floor experience and bringing it to the ED and just speeding up my process because I'm already a good nurse and a thorough nurse. I now just have to matriculate that into the emergency room and your girl i think I, i'm pretty much there so my biggest thing was time management and also i just want to be able to anticipate the needs that my patients will have and that comes with knowing the protocols that comes with time and i'm starting to pretty much understand like okay if it's a cold stroke i do this chest pain we do this has chest pain let me go ahead and get them on the monitor because duh, i'm gonna have to get an ekg so it's just little things like that where i'm proud of myself that I'm finally like learning what to do 
and I'm able to do it faster. That's the biggest thing. Fast, fast, fast in the ED. Oh, my hours. So I work 11 to 11 and I love it because number one, I needed three 12s back. I know people think like, oh my goodness, at eight to five, you're off weekends, you're off holidays. Oh, but I don't have kids and I'm in grind mode right now. For me, I'd rather have less days working on one job just in case I want to get another job and make more money and bring more money home versus that one stream of income taking up my everyday life. I really just didn't like that I was scheduling my life around work versus scheduling work around my life. So that was very important for me and something to consider if you ever are thinking about doing outpatient or working at eight to five, nine to five. And like I always tell you all, please just know yourself, but it takes experience for you to know yourself because I knew that I did not like waking up early and I still wanted to try the eight to five because I'm like, you know, it's outpatient, off weekends, off holidays. No, eventually I became tired of it and even though I love my patients and I love the experience, also a desk job, I never wanted to work a desk job, which is why I am a nurse. And with that being said, working an outpatient, it became like very mundane and boring. It was just time for something new. And I've always wanted to work in the emergency room. So I made sure, like I told you on Vlogmas day one, I went for the opportunity and despite location, whatever I had to do, I was going to be working in the emergency room I knew I was not getting a floor nurse job, even though I did interview for them. So my tip for the day, um, when it comes to nursing, you should just have confidence in yourself. And always, if you are questioning something, make sure you say something. Because if you don't, and something ends up happening, you are gonna feel so bad because you could have prevented that issue from occurring. Make sure you are on your stuff and what i mean by that is when you get a report go check in your patient be prepared for reports so I already have like report sheets and i actually have report sheets that i can send to you all and i may be utilizing this app where you all can tip me for the things that i do provide for you for free and so with that app you just tip whatever you want to tip so yeah number one just believing in yourself and number two just being prepared so that means having pens on you carrying scissors on you um always having tape on you having your stethoscope close by if need be a lot of nurses don't even really carry their stethoscope bringing snacks to work, paying attention to your patients and listening to them and advocating for them, communicating to the doctor what the patient needs. Yeah, so just being prepared and being a good nurse. That's really my tip for today. And if I think of something else, I will add it. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. It is day two of Vlogmas. Let's get it. A better view of my hair. Oh nothing, just me eating my food, waiting on report to start. Shift is already to a crazy start. Patient with the cold stroke and yeah, boat drum. I just had to run down the CT and bring them a stretch box to great start. I came in here to the start room to get a misty nebulizer. I got it. We had a mandatory training, so I came to that. Now I'm about to go have my lunch. We are officially on the lunch. So far, shit is going great. Like I told y'all, I'm proud of myself. Time management is on fleek. Don't play with me. I'm just really proud of myself because, you know, yes, I have experienced really nice things from before, so I'm a little bit nervous. But in the switch, specialty, most of these like a brand new one. We are a little bit behind, but it's in my shift. I survived. A preceptor said I am doing better. You know, I'm flapping like this, I'm not quite soaring. We're heading out because it's already been delayed. The person I was getting for to because it was caught up doing other things. Hey y'all, I am so proud of myself. My preceptor said I am growing and progressing, so you can't tell me nothing. I think I'm ready to be off orientation. Um, I literally barely realized my preceptor was there. Like I did majority of everything. Not majority, I did do everything. Um, and I'm proud of that. So I am proud of my progression. 
I am doing better. And your girl is a whole emergency room nurse. Yes. Floor nurse turned to an ER nurse. It's possible. If you want to switch specialties, do it. Go after it and believe in yourself because you can. Literally anything you want to do, you can do if you put your mind to it. So I just want to encourage you all and I will see you all on the next vlog and vlog. Day two is complete. Make sure you all comment, like, and subscribe. Oh, no.